This is my contribution to a request that came from someone in the community asking for suggestions on how to create more of a 3D effect uh, within a room when you presented it in slideshow. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be building on um, some of the suggestions that Tom made in his tutorial uh, addressing this same subject. So first I'm going to start with uh, by showing you the finished effect in slideshow. So here it is. Now, as I said before, I'm building on many of the suggestions that were made, so I'm going to skip some steps. I'm going to start by showing you what I did with the floor. I needed to flatten the floor out as much as possible, so I used the 3D rotation effect and focused on the y-axis to widen the field of view. Um, I used 309 degrees to flatten it as much as possible. So now I have my floor, and now I want to create some depth, some more depth, and um, I believe the best way to do that is to is to be able to show some of the side walls. So in order to create side walls, um, I drew a rectangle and textured it and then sent it to the background. You can see that if I move it to the front and then I'll just move it back again and then extended the sides beyond the edges of the ground of the floor. And I'll show you in a moment how I use this to create the side walls. So now I want to create my back wall and basically I drew the same triangle or sorry rectangle and just a smaller version of it and then aligned it with the back edges of the floor as you can see. I'll just move that over. But in order to create some contrast between the the back wall and the side walls, I needed to add an outline. So I just drew a light gray outline around the outer edges of the rectangle that would create some contrast between the, the back rectangle and then create the illusion of side walls. But I also wanted to create some more depth, so I added shadows using the offset center and then going into shadow options to modify some of the settings. And here's this, the settings that I selected. 80% uh, transparency. I kept the size the same. I blurred um, the, um, the shadow to 14 points. And then I kept the angle and the distance the same. So now I've created some contrast. Let's take a look at the effect so far. We now have some contrast between the, we've created now a, an edge um, that gives the appearance of a side wall. Now we want to add our baseboard. So I'm going to use the freeform tool and I'm going to draw an outline using the edge of the floor and the walls as a guide. Run it along the edge. Now with the outline, I'm going to use the shape outline and create some width with the line style feature. And you can increase the width to whatever width you, uh, you like, but I've decided on 12 points. And uh, using the suggestion that uh, Tom made in his tutorial that the smaller the, the baseboard um, is going to help to create more depth. So now I'm going to change the color to white and I'm going to add some contour with the bevel feature. Created my baseboard and there's the final effect. Hope that helps.